So I just wanted to show you what it's like to actually walk the labyrinth. And um, I'm going to show you the labyrinth that we've created now. I don't have a very steady hand <laughs> as I'm trying to show this to you. If you can see, we've laid it all out in stones, created it all in stones. It's a seven turn labyrinth, which in ancient civilizations represented the seven chakras of being. Seven is the number of alchemy. And yeah, so if you can imagine when you actually walk in, as you begin to walk in, you actually then leave behind everything that you know. And the really interesting thing is when you walk a labyrinth, as you walk it, I'm trying to show you as I'm walking now, you believe that you're going to get closer and closer to the center in the manner in which you walk, a bit like the journey of life. But in fact, what happens on the journey of life is every time you believe that you have almost seen the center, what actually happens is your greatest challenge emerges and suddenly you're walking back out on the perimeter. And this is why I wanted to show you what it's like to walk a labyrinth. Because life is a miraculous journey of twists and turns. And do you know that there's never a moment when you should ever give up? Because if you did, when you got to the point where I'm about to turn to now in this labyrinth, you would actually believe that you had gone so far out that you had moved so far away from your goal that you would feel like giving up. So here I am, having walked to what I believe is the center. And in fact, you can see now as I show you the center, I am the furthest away from the center since the moment I walked into the labyrinth. So at this point, I can choose to trust and continue, or I can choose to not trust and go back. So here I am making a decision to trust. And as I trust and I continue to walk, as I take this next turn, suddenly I'm almost at the center. And here's the really interesting bit. I'm almost at the center and yet I continue to walk and suddenly find myself three paces away again. How many times in life do we find this? We're nearly there. And then we think, and the little carrots get dangled to show us how close we are. And then we get closer and closer. Just keeping that trust for one little bit longer. Yet again, I'm so close now. Here's the center of my labyrinth here. I'm so close. And yet I'm being forced to take a step away once more, appearing as if I'm going further and further and further away from my goal once more. You can see I'm getting further and further away now. And yet still I hold that trust. And even though I know I'm three paths removed, I take one more turn. And I'm here in the center. When I reach the center, it's amazing, <laughs> amazing feeling, never giving up, continuing to trust and absolutely following my knowing and arriving here at the center. So at this point, when you're walking a labyrinth, you have just let go of everything that you ever have been and you have known now that if you continue to go, you continue to walk forward, you continue to trust, and you have now arrived at the center, there is absolutely nothing that you can't do because the path back, you've already trodden. So it's easy to keep following your intuition and your trust at that moment. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So as I walk back out, I now embrace everything that's coming to me. I look forward to the time when you have the experience to walk a labyrinth too. Make sure you do.